Uh, Trixie? Yeah? You know what you'd sing great? This one song by... Take it up with the piano player. He does the set list. Still working on those I don't care lyrics? What can I say? Memorizing ain't my strong suit. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Danny. You! I guess now I know why you won't arrest Tannen. You're working for him. Bingo! Trust me, things will get better. Just keep listening to the music. Why? None of the words help anymore. <laughs> you know, drinking that much is really bad for your health. What are you, my mother? More like... What? Never mind. Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? You know what you'd sing great? This one song by... Pick it up with the piano player. He does the set list. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Hey. Back off, kid. I'm trying to entertain some people here. Hey, Trixie, look over there! Why? Didn't you see it? No. Ah, uh, never mind. I can turn my life around. Sure you can. You know what? I used to be a good cop. And yeah, I've had a few bad breaks. Possibly even a psychotic one that caused me to imagine a disappearing space car. But I'm a good man. Yeah. And all I need to do to win Betty back is be the same good man I always was. And let the chips fall where they may. All right. Hey, Miss Trotter. You wanted to speak with me? What happened to my louse of an ex-boyfriend? I don't know. Rats. I told the chief we need a team of bloodhounds like they got over in Placerville. Yeah, but in the meantime... All right, everyone. Party's over. Everyone out of the speakeasy. Speakeasy? You're mistaken, officer. This is an ice cream parlor. <laughs> nice try, you. Out! Callahan, would the Valenti mob be willing to help, uh, defuse this little situation? Sure, no problem. I'll bring it up in the next, uh, company meeting. Hey, we ain't begging here. Kid just thought JJ might like a piece of the action. Especially now that he's just caught the speakeasy arsonist. Wait, you mean... Doc? Doc? You ain't with the Valenti gang at all, are you? What do you know about the arsonist? Come on, you. Off to the station house. Kid's gonna get you, rat. He's gonna get all of you. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that. Thanks to Miss Trotter's evidence, the entire Hill Valley police force is out looking for Kid and his goons. You don't understand. We've got to find him now. He's captured a friend of mine. Who? Uh, never mind. Don't worry. We've got the entire town square sealed off. 
If Tannen's within a mile of here, we'll find him eventually. Uh, I don't think we have time for eventually. Hey boy, how you doing? Good dog. Hey Danny. Sorry pal, can't talk right now. I've got a report to write up for the chief. Irving Kid Tannen. Guess he dropped this on his way out. It's empty. Figures. Parker must have confiscated this hooch from the speakeasy. Hey boy, how you doing? Good dog. Hey Einie, get your nose over here. I really don't think Tannen and Doc are with Herbert Hoover, Einie. Okay, okay, I'll check it out. A button. All right, Doc, here I come. Callahan, what are you doing here? Uh, never mind. Come here and help me get rid of this stinking arsonist. Edna? Carter planting dynamite while he was clearing out the soup kitchen. Guess Sagan was innocent after all. I was researching a story, you ignoramus! Tell it to St. Peter's sister. Hey, what's all this? Parker? Tannen, you're under arrest. Get him, Sacramento boy. I can't do that, kid. What? Oh, I get it. Why don't you let go of Miss Strickland and call it a night? Hey, look over there! Watch out! Give it up, Tannen. The alley's blocked off and so are the roads out of town. It's over. Over? Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Tannen! Make like a tree and die, rat! No one messes with Kid Tannen! Come on, kid. You know how this'll end. Yeah, with me dancing on your grave! Bowling for ten. Are you shooting at me? Do this all night, Parker!
Make it easy on yourself, Tannen. Tannins never make things easy. Hey, kid. Eat lead, phony. Hey, moron. Moron this. Go, Tannin. Make like a tree and die, rat. A girl. Hey, kid. Eat lead, phony. No one messes with. The tannin. Hey, kid. That ain't a real gun. Oh, right. I forgot. I better just get rid of it then. Oh, crap. <coughs> hey, he's getting away. Oh, no. Yes. No. There. Good as new. Oh, look, Tannen, the judge's son. All right, Parker, I want a getaway car and a clear road to Nevada, or the brown kid gets it. Doc. Marty. Doc? Yes, it's me. I'm talking to you through the radio apparatus my younger self has installed in the rocket car. What's going on up there? It's not good, Doc. Trixie and Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Great Scott. No kidding. Try to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I? You! Emmett! You're the cause of all of this, ain't you? Should have known. You don't look like any Callahan I ever seen. Yeah, well, what kind of gangster's named Irving? No one makes a fool out of me, you backstabbing twerp! Got any last words, rat? None that you'd understand. Ready to be tannin'ized! Is that where you bore me? Hey! Doc, hit it! Irving Tannen, I'm placing you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion, and smelling like a piece of crap. Tax evasion? Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. Trixie? That's what you get for killing Artie, you bastard! What? I didn't... Trixie? Artie? All right, Grandpa. My poor car. I believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. Thanks to your ridiculous contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apologies necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out-of-control failure. I need a new idea. 
If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. But first, I think we should take in a movie. I'm all yours, Mr. Brown. I think you'll like it. It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Whew. Come on, Einy. Let's go find Doc. <gasps> Thanks for letting me fly the DeLorean, Doc. This thing's a blast. I'm absolutely sure that everything's back to normal. Totally. Kids going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. <laughs> and we remembered Einstein this time, too. Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie, I think we're ready to go back to 1986. Do you feel yourself fading out of existence? No. Then as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Sowing oats? Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna, they're gonna go see Frankenstein together. That's... odd. Go, Doc. Uh, We've got everything under control. Doc? 